Hello everyone and welcome to Eorzea Armoire, a series about the background of Summer Hydaelyn's more epic and dense weapons, armor, and artifacts. We'll be investigating the lore of these items both within Final Fantasy XIV and the Final Fantasy franchise in general, as well as the amazing and sometimes obscure real-world people, events, and artifacts upon which they are based. The Yoichi Bow is the transcendent host for an Artemis bow that has become overfull with etheric essence through the victories of the Warrior of Light, and a perfect replica of the weapon wielded by the ancient Zodiac Brave for whom it is named. Like each of its fellow Zodiac weapons, the name alludes to and draws upon real legend, although this one is certainly a little more obscure than, say, Excalibur or Longinus. Yoichi is a coastal district of Hokkaido, Japan. It was the birthplace of the first Japanese astronaut, and famous at least in my eyes for the Yoichi distillery built by the founder of the Japanese whiskey industry, Masataka Taketsuro, after studying organic chemistry at the University of Glasgow. The Yoichi 20-year-old was awarded Best Single Malt at the 2008 World Whiskey Awards. I might be the only one, but that was the first connection I made upon recognizing the name Yoichi strapped to an adventurer's back. There is an older legend, however, from the Haika Monogatari of a Nasu no Yoichi. The Tale of the Haika is an epic prose that was compiled sometime in the 13th century from a wealth of oral tales passed on through recitation by traveling monks. Its accounts concern the Genpai War and the rise and fall of the Taira clan during the latter half of the 12th century, having defeated the Minamoto only to face defeat a few decades later by this same enemy as they were overtaken by their own evil deeds and undone by hubris. In 1185, the Taira had retreated to their fortress on the island of Yashima, not far off the coast of Shikoku. The famous general Minamoto no Yoshitsune lit a series of bonfires along the coast of Shikoku, drawing the Taira attention who believed they were about to be besieged from this direction, whilst Yoshitsune approached from the opposite direction with a small force to intercept the Taira as they fled to their ships before the perceived threat. Although the majority of the Taira clan escaped, their arrogance here was typified. A noblewoman upon one of the retreating ships placed a small fan atop the mast and dared the Minamoto to knock it off. And so Nasu no Yoichi, sitting on his mount that was treading water amongst the breaking waves, loosed a single arrow at the distant and swaying ship, directly piercing the fan and knocking it from the mast in one of the single greatest archery feats in Japanese history. It is not surprising that through this single recorded feat, Nasu no Yoichi soon became a common object of Japanese art, music, and literature across various styles. Yoichi is even commonly depicted on manhole covers. I am not kidding, there are thousands of these. Among these illusions is that made by the Yoichi, which has appeared across the Final Fantasy franchise as one of the most powerful bows available, usually with an improved accuracy and critical hit rate, clearly referencing the legend, as well as other stat supplements and special effects. In Tactics Advance, it teaches take aim to archers. In Final Fantasy XI, the Yoichi no Yumi has the highest base damage of any bow in the game and is widely considered the best option for the ranger job. Each time it appears with a description, a legendary wielder or tales and songs are invariably referenced. Once the essence of our Artemis bow is successfully transcended into Geralt's new host, Jalzan keeps with its tradition by declaring, Behold! the likeness of the longbow once drawn by Yoichi, the famed archer of the Far East. Ancient legend says that the hero could loose a shaft so true as to pierce the eye of a sea serpent even amidst a raging tempest. I very much hope that we learn more of the Zodiac Braves in the future, because it seems here that our Yoichi may even have been the slayer of at least one of the first sea serpents, Thaleos and Perikos. We know that around 3.1 we'll be seeing something like the Relic Quest and no doubt a new arsenal of epic weapons. Nasu no Yoichi is a pretty impressive figure and I'm sorry bards to piss on your chips but I personally hope that your next legendary arm will be named the Tametomobo. Minamoto no Tametomo was a samurai of immense proportions who exiled himself to a small island in retirement 
and when a fleet of warships decided to pay him a visit, he loosed a giant blunt arrow towards the flagship to serve as a warning. This first single arrow punched straight through the hull of the flagship and summarily sank it. The others decided to withdraw, and so Tametomo held off an entire invasion force not only single-handedly, but with a single arrow. If you can think of a more worthy illusion for the ultimate bow of Heaven's Ward to make, I would absolutely love to hear it. So as usual, please leave your thoughts below along with any requests. Thanks so much for watching, please like and sub if you haven't already. And since Mr. Happy has already announced that I don't think I'll get in trouble for saying that I'm scheduled to feature on State of the Realm in about a week's time, which will be, I think, episode 14. Uh, I'm going to be challenging Mr. Happy and Sly with some lore trivia, and I'd love you to come check that out either live on Twitch or when it's released on YouTube. I'll post some details here and on Twitter for that, but it should be a really fun show. Until then, I'm Ethis, and this is Eorzea Armoire.